Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I was glad you made sense so I still just go into the house of the Lord. For truly you see the day that the Lord has made, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We shall enter into a case for thanksgiving and into his voice with praise, and we shall come before his presence in the song. Of his own will, he 
brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Therefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness mm -hmm. and overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your soul. Hallelujah. Thank God for the word. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. If anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless together. Pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. You may be seated. Our scripture lesson this morning from the First Testament comes from the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. You will also find it in your bulletin. Habakkuk, from the second chapter, Verses 1 through 4. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the high tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon table that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, and it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Amen. Beloved, turn with me to Paul's letter to the Romans. Our reading from the New Testament comes from Romans, the fourth chapter, where we shall read from verses 13 through 17. That's Romans 4. 13 through 17. For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if they are of the law, the heirs, faith is made void and the promise made of none effect. Because the law worketh wrath. For where no law is, there is no transgression. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace. To the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed. Not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead 
and call it those things which be not as though they were. The word of God for the people of God. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. We certainly give God the praise. We give him all the glory and the honor for blessing us with one more time to come into the number for worship and praise. Amen. We give God glory. We give God thanks for one more time to be in the service. Amen. One more opportunity to come to the throne of grace, to lay down our burden because we know that prayer changes things. Amen. Amen. Prayer changes things. So, beloved, it's prayer time. Let us come together in the name of Jesus. You may bow down where you are. You may remain seated with your heads bowed and your eyes closed in humble submission to the mercy of God. Amen. Amen. Let every heart pray. Gracious God in the blessed name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, gracious God, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, we approach your throne of grace, my God, in humble submission and recognition and acknowledgement, my God, that you are greater than we ourselves. We are your people, and God, we are the sheep of your pasture. It is you who have made us, and not we ourselves. So we bow down before your throne of grace. We, we bow down as we pray for mercy. We bow down in, in honor of your awesome omnipotence. God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will have mercy on our souls. My Lord, forgive us for every sin. Forgive us for every slight. Forgive us, my God, for every time we fail to give you the praise for the great things that you have done, my Lord. Oh, God, forgive us for every time we caused a fix, for every time when we broke somebody's heart, when we stepped on somebody's feelings, when we made somebody else feel small because we were feeling small ourselves. So God, we pray for mercy because mercy suits our case. God, we pray because your word declares that we shall bear one another's burdens, that we should confess our faults one to another, that we should never forsake the assembling of ourselves together, but that we should come together for prayer. We should come together to study your word, that we should come together, my Lord, to worship you and to glorify your holy name. So God, we come this day to praise you. We come this day to worship you. We come this day, my Lord, to lift up holy hands and to say that you are our God and without you there is no other. So bless us this day, my God, as we come to worship and praise and Lord, we come to hear a holy word from you. Send forth the word, my God, that speaks to our situation. Send, send forth the word, my God, that lets us know that we are never alone. Send forth the word, my God, that truly inspires us to walk in newness of life, inspires us to know, my God, that you are with us. And as long as you are with us, my Lord, it is even more than if the whole world was against us. So bless us, God, to walk in confidence. Bless us, God, to walk in assurance. Bless us, God, that we might have that blessed assurance that Jesus Christ is mine. Lord, we pray for healing, where healing is in need. There's somebody now, my Lord, with a mother who, who's still in the process of mending. There's somebody right now, my Lord, with a child, a, 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 a beloved family member, my God, who is going through right now. Lord, we pray for blessing and healing. God, there is somebody who knows of one who is incarcerated. Oh, my Lord, send forth the word that they truly might come to know that 
the church has not forgotten about them and neither have you, my God. Oh Lord, use us in a mighty way that we, my God, might comfort one another and help one another to make it through this journey called life. Lord, we pray that you send forth the Spirit, my God. We pray that you that you bind the hands of the enemy who, who wants to hold back our praise. Oh God, we pray that you bind the hands of the enemy, my God, who, who Heavenly Father is thinking something other than the grace of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we come to praise you. We come to worship you. We come to lay aside every burden, my God. Bless us, God, that we might focus on you. Send forth your spirit. Send forth your word. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 And amen.
and power. So then here in chapter 2, Habakkuk stood watch up in the watchtower to watch and to see what God would say to him and to consider what he would say when God answered him and when God chastised him. And God answered and told Habakkuk to write the vision and make it clear so that when someone reads it, they would know exactly what they needed to do. God said the vision was for an appointed time. The vision would only come to pass at the right time and not a second before. God said the vision is true. And even though it may seem delayed, the vision is surely to come. So they should wait for me. God said that evil doers like the ruling Jews and the chariots, he said they live by pride and vanity and they can never find rest for their soul. But the righteous shall live by faith. So I propose to you today, my family, your blessing might be delayed, but it is shown up, not denied. Beloved, there are so many times in life when it seems like the wicked triumph over the righteous. And we feel that if we want to get ahead, we need to do it to them before they do it to us. That is what troubled Habakkuk. The Israelites had turned wicked. The children of God had turned towards evil. And the righteous then were made to suffer. Habakkuk feared that because of the absence of justice, all God's children would be swayed over to the other side. But God told him there would be justice in the end. God told him that the blessing was on the way. Sometimes it will seem as if your blessing is a long time of coming, but you've got to trust in the word of God. God shared the word with Habakkuk. He told him the vision. He told him to write it down. When you put the vision on paper, it allows you to keep focused. It allows you then to see it in black and white. And that encourages you to believe that you will see it come to fruition. A few years ago, many people were making vision boards and placing images and messages regarding their dreams and desires on a display so that when they woke up in the morning, they could look to it for inspiration, knowing then that when they walked out of the house with a visual in their head of what they wanted, they could head out and begin every day working to make it happen. You've got to learn to walk in your faith. You've got to learn to call those things that be not as if they were. You've got to walk like you already blessed. You've got to talk like the victory is already won. You've got to live out your purpose, keeping your eyes on the prize, and always stay on the righteous path. Don't let the victories of the evil make you doubt your God. Don't let the riches of the unjust cause you to lose your soul. Keep your mind focused on your vision and know that it shall come to pass. God says, write the vision. Write it down. Make it plain so that when you read it, you will know exactly how you want to live. He says the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. God says, do it, tarries. Wait for it. 
because it will surely come and tarry not. But beloved, there are so many times where it seems that the wicked prosper and triumph over the righteous. So many times it seems as if the only ones playing by the rules are the ones who lose. We often hear nice guys finish last. Sometimes that just seems to be the way the world works. But I am a firm believer that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. I believe you shall reap what you sow. I believe what goes around comes around. And I am convinced that right defeated is still better than evil triumphant. So no matter what it looks like, you've got to hold on to your faith. No matter what's going on, we've got to always seek righteousness. No matter what the world throws your way, we've got to hold on until our change comes. we got to hold on until God gives us a brighter day. we got to hold on even when your change is a long time coming. Wait on God. Even when your blessing seems to tarry, wait on the Lord. Even when the evil says money is the only power and power is the only God. Even when the wicked says you must be a fool because your God is dead. What? Don't you know? What? Haven't you heard that the Lord God, he is everlasting. He faints not, neither does he tarry. He gives power to the faith. And to them that have no might, he increases their strength. You shall faint and be weary. Young men, shall utterly fall down. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and never grow weary. Wait on the Lord. Your blessing is delayed. Wait on the Lord. Your blessing is not denied. Love it somewhere. There's a young man, a young woman, who has just graduated college in June. And here it is, October, four months, and they are so convinced that the degree is worthless. They are so convinced that they're never going to find a job. They are all ready to throw in the towel, believing that they're going to suffer to live in their parents' houses for the rest of their lives. This message is for you. God says, hold on. Don't quit till the miracle comes. Your, your, your blessing is on the way. Beloved, there is somebody who has been praying because their body has been wrapped with cancer. Their body has been wrapped with pain. And the doctors are saying that they had already did all they could do. Now they, they're sick and tired of chemo. They're sick and tired of radiation. They fasted and they prayed. They prayed and they fasted. They wept on their knees. They wept on their feet. They've been crying out to God and they wondered, God, how long I got to cry and you don't hear me? God, how long I got to pray and you don't answer not? God sent me to tell you, hold on, your change is going to come. He says, hold on, he'll never put more in you than you can bear. He says, hold on, a change is going to come. He says, your blessing is delayed. It is not denied. There is somebody for so many years, they've been robbing Peter to pay Paul. And they can never ever seem to get out from under. They've been paying their time because they've heard, they've heard people talking about the people uh, giving their testimony that once they pay tithes, 
all their problems just went away. So somebody stepped out on faith. They started paying tithes, and it seems like things are getting worse. They're starting to take their own will back. They're starting to doubt the word of God. God is telling you today, the just shall live by faith. You got to take your faith and run on and see what the end's going to be. You got to hold on to your faith and your faith will hold on to you. You got to hold on to God. He says, I'm going to bring you through. Even if you got to go through the ringer, go through the ringer with the Holy Ghost. Go through the ringer with Jesus Christ. He'll bring you on the other side. You'll come out without spot or wrinkle. You'll come out without even smelling like smoke. You come out of the fire into the glorious light of God, being ready, willing, and able to give him all the glory and all the praise. Because truly, it was God who brought you through. Beloved, your blessing is delayed, but it is not denied. Come on, give God a hand. Come on, give God a hand. Certainly our God is good. All the time he is. And he is worthy of all the praise. Amen? Yes, he is. I don't know about you, but I am so glad that he lets me know that I am never alone. I am so glad he lets me know that his word is true. It's the devil who's a liar. I am so glad that the Lord Jesus has taken up my cause. And because he has taken up my cause, with him, I shall fight every battle. With his holy word, I shall endure all things because I know victory is mine. Because I, I live by faith, I put it all in God's hand. My life, my trial, my tribulation, my victories, my success, my house, my money, my family, my children, my very soul. I give it all to God, knowing that God is a healer. Knowing that God is a redeemer. Knowing that God is a provider. Yes. All good and perfect gifts come from Him. So it's all His anyway. Amen. What I got to worry about. It's all His anyway. What I got to pray. My blessing might be delayed. But my blessing ain't denied. Somebody say He's an all-time God. Yes, He is. Amen.
just simply to say thank you, Jesus, for this word that lets us know that our blessing is on the way. After the prayer of thanksgiving, I ask everybody who is saved and everybody who desires to be saved, if you would pray the prayer of salvation out loud with me together. Is that all right? Let's pray. Gracious God, it is in the blessed name of Jesus Christ, the righteous, that we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the praise and thanks. Thank you, Lord, for letting us know you have not forgotten about us. Thank you, Lord, for letting us know how some live with pride and vanity and they allow evil, greed, and lust to rule their actions. And they allow evil and lust and greed to fill their bank accounts, to fill their houses with nice things. But God, we know that a cattle on a thousand hills is yours. God, we know that you have called us to be ambassadors. So because you have called us out of the darkness into the marvelous light, we know, my God, you want your light to shine upon us. We know, my God, you want to bless us. You, you, you want, my God, to anoint our heads with oil until our cup when it go. We know, my God, you are preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies, in the presence, my God, of the prideful and the man, of the lustful and the greedy, so that they might look and see how good and pleasant it is for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity, how good and pleasant it is for one to give their life to Jesus. So God, bless us to write the vision down. Bless us, God, to walk in our faith and bless us, God, that we might wait on the Lord from whom all blessings. God, we thank you for the knowledge of your word that our blessing is to live, but not to die. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Our prayer for salvation. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, who died on Calvary's cross to save a wretch like me. Lord, save me from all my sins. Wash me in the blood of the precious Lamb of God. I renounce Satan and all of his wicked ways. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, come into my heart. Make my heart yours from this day on and forevermore. I am saved. I am loved. I am free. Glory, hallelujah, God.
right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for every blessing, for every gift. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Beloved, if you were saved this morning for the first time, send us a message. You can send us a direct message. You can reach us in the chat. We would certainly love for you to reach out to us that we might be able to reach back out to you. Amen. 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 I swear. God is so good. He, he knows just what to give us when we stand in need. He, he knows exactly what we need to hear when we need to hear it. And he sends forth his holy word so that once we've heard it, we don't never need to be the same again. Amen? We ain't got no reason to worry. We ain't got no reason to fret. We ain't got no reason to even think about throwing in the towel when we know that our God is real. And when we know where our help comes from, our help comes from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth our blessing, is delayed but not denied. Amen. 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 Beloved, we pray that you would be a blessing to Douglas Memorial Methodist Church. We, we give God thanks to all of you who have blessed us. Some of you have blessed us in abundance, and, and we certainly feel it, and we're certainly grateful, and we love you being the giver that you are. Amen. And we certainly pray that you will bless us that we can continue to spread this good news that Jesus saves. That we might be able to continue to let this dying world know that Jesus lives. Amen. Amen. So if you look right there in the chat, right there amongst the comments, you can see where you can send in your offering, where you can send in your tithes, where you can sow a seed into the ministry known as Douglas Memorial Methodist Church. Help us to be a blessing that we might be able to reach more. If you've been blessed by the word, you can also hit the share button, you can hit the like button, and you can let somebody know that God is using this ministry today. Amen. That God is using this church today, and we just desire to be used by Him. So we pray that you will send in a love offering that you will send in your time, that you will send in whatever it is monetarily you have to be a blessing to Douglas Memorial. Amen. Amen. We shall bless the offering and we shall announce the benediction in the same prayer. Amen. 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 Gracious God, we acknowledge that all things come of thee, O Lord, and it's of thine own that we have given unto thee. Lord, bless us that we might be able to take this offering of love and use it to continue to spread the good news, that we might be able to use it, my God, to build this church. My God, we stand on faith. Your word declares that on our faith you shall build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So bless us, God, that we might be blessed and the whole world might know. We give you thanks for everyone who came. We give you thanks for everyone who desired to give. In Jesus' name. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are holy, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any praise, if there be any virtue, think on these things, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds till we shall be Jesus face to face.